With 100 gig, we've almost hit certain fundamental limits of WDM transmission, so that um, to push it any higher, you can, you can go faster than 100 gig, but the effort of doing so is producing fewer returns. So super channels are a way of bonding channels together into a higher rate signal that you can turn up in one operational cycle. So it's dealing with the, the problem of capacity because they're coherent, but it's also dealing with the problem of operational scalability because they're brought into service in a single operational cycle. So super channels are inherently multi-carrier. So the biggest problem you have is how many optical components are making up the super channel. Well, if you can collapse all of those components into a, two chips, one for receive, one for transmit, then you've really solved the problem. And that addresses the other issue, because the other issue is how do you optimize the balance between the electronics and the optical components within a super channel implementation? So if you have no constraints about how many optical channels are in the super channel, you can make the best decision for that balance between optical and electronic processing. By collapsing a large number of optical components, what you're doing is eliminating all of the tiny little fiber couplings uh, between those chips. And one of the instant things that does is you remove those coupling losses, the loss of, of energy as, as you pass the optical signals between the chips. So that translates to the, the PIC itself being much more power effective. So every PIC has to have a, a cooler that's associated with it. So for every watt that you're putting into the PIC to drive it, you've probably got to put two watts into the cooler to take the heat out. And then the cooler, of course, is wrapped inside the system. So by the time you've worked right through to the entire data center, you're probably gaining seven watts of energy recovered for every watt that you can save at the chip itself. So if coherent technology can deliver much more capacity and super channel technology can deliver a lot more operational scale, the service provider is now really concerned how much of that capacity that they've installed can they use for revenue generating services. Well, most services these days are actually sub-wavelength. They're gigabit ethernet or they're 10 gigabit ethernet. They're not 100 gigabit ethernet and they're certainly not 500 gigabit. So, if you have integrated switching, OTN switching, it means that you can pack all of those services into the fewest super channels that, uh, that, that are possible. It means that you can uh, really use all of the capacity that you're buying in a very efficient way for revenue generating services. I think this show really is the most important optical show in Europe. It's, it's really as simple as that. All the right people are here, they're all in one place, we can have great meetings and we do some really good human network. The big thing for us now is that the DTNX, which is our flagship product, today we announced that it was shipping in volume. Everyone said we couldn't do it and it's our chance to prove them wrong. We've already got uh, customers lining up for this product and so the, the next year really is about delivering on our promises.